Some politicians say diplomacy with Iran isn't worth it. We should use our military might instead. Yet every day, nuclear, non-proliferation, and national security experts, U.S. ambassadors, top American scientists, and high-ranking military officials add their voices to a growing chorus of support for diplomacy with Iran, declaring that the Iran deal is solid and will make our nation more secure. And the fact is, if we don't use diplomacy, the alternative is war. War should always be our last resort. Diplomacy, vigorous, muscular diplomacy, should always be what we try first. I'm not a pacifist. I look at hard facts, risks, numbers, benefits, and costs. The first and most obvious cost of war is lives lost on all sides, as well as painful and lasting injuries and traumas. Civilians also killed and injured, children orphaned, refugees without homes, festering resentments. But there are other costs to war as well, measured in what we cannot do for our own people here in America, because of what we're spending on war and the resulting expansion of our nation's military reach. This year, military spending will account for more than half of all federal discretionary spending, what the president requests and lawmakers appropriate each year. The United States spends more on the military than the next seven largest military budgets around the world combined. But we can't be a strong nation if we're not strong at home. And we can't be strong at home when almost one out of five of our children is in poverty, when our schools are in disrepair, our roads and bridges falling apart, our water and sewage systems outmoded, and health care still unavailable to millions. Nobel laureate Joseph Stiglitz estimates the war in Iraq alone cost us $3 trillion, including direct government expenses, the cost of diagnosing, treating, and compensating disabled veterans, and the war's broader impact on the U.S. economy and the national debt. If we go to war with Iran, and that war cost what the war in Iraq has already cost us, just the bare minimum, mind you, and not the extended costs, we won't be able to invest in America. We can't rebuild America. Finally, there is never a guarantee that war will succeed. We've been at war in the Middle East for more than 12 years. America will soon have a generation raised entirely during wartime with no prospect of an end in sight. It's common sense. If diplomacy with Iran is an option, we must use it for the sake of our children, for peace in the world.